Thanks for staying with us. So we're wrapping up on this name issue, but I think I have Lillian. Lillian, are you there? Lillian. Hello, Lillian. Are you there from Abuja? I think we lost that call. I really it's like Lillian. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, well. it's a fine name. It's a fine name. Good morning. Hello, Lillian, she's there. OK. Are you there? Hello, good morning. You're live. Go ahead, please. Lillian, can you, can you hear me? Listen to the TV. Go ahead. You know Lillian means uh, purity. Oh, oh there's yeah. this name. <laughs> Cynthia, check the meaning of Cynthia. Anywhere okay. you mention Cynthia, people always like to avoid the person. Uh, they, they associate them with really? snakes. Yeah. With snakes? Yeah. No, I know hey, the, the name. Okay. Okay. Uh, no, 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 a check. So name. Sure. It's actually a moon goddess. A uh, woman. Something yes. like So people always run okay, away from them. The name. Linda as well. Linda is serpent, uh -huh. I think. You know, mm -hmm. and we have uh, people who <laughs> they give. It's not Melinda, Linda. Linda. <laughs> we have people they give such names. But uh, for Pretty. me, I think uh, we need to start going beyond the name. So if you have a name that means something, to you, Good to you and you want to give it to your child it's important that you start educating that child mm. on the importance of that name what that name carries yeah. and also speak truth so you have children like favor blessing and every time you have raining abuses on them you're cursing them and tomorrow they grow up and you say your name is blessing you're not even blessed it's still what you have put into yes. them that will manifest. So, so when you give them those beautiful names, important back names, it up with words. back it up with words, back it up with them the understanding right the right meaning of the name, back it up with them understanding mm. what they carry with that Let me name. Take perpetual. That's where you see the blessing. Perpetual, are you there? Yes, hello, good morning. Good morning, morning. Perpetual. We're so happy to have you. Tell us what your okay. name means. Okay, my name is Perpetual and I'm um, Wabuno. So um, quickly, can you hear me? Very clearly. Hear me. Go ahead, please. Okay. Um, I think for me, um, my parents. Okay. I am. Um, I think for me, my parents named me with their own experience, mm. and then um, I noticed that the name actually played out. Okay. So my name is Wabuno meaning a child makes the home. So my parents named me with their own experience. Because they didn't have children on time, they now gave me that name. So, you know, um, growing up, uh, the name indeed started playing out on me. Um, all, all my sisters got married before me. They all have children. And, and I said, <laughs> is it because my name is Wabuno? So I now changed my name to Ifoma, meaning good thing. And then, since then, good, th <laughs> good things have been following since you. Since then, I've started experiencing good things. So, mm. I think a name has a way of playing out. So, mm. what's the name? Oh, I think we got mm. that point. Thank you so much, yeah. Ifoma. Ifoma. I like that name. Ifoma. It's okay, it's, it's okay to change your Ifoma. name. Yeah, and that if you feel like you, you yeah. feel like Gini, I guess some names like uh, Ifoma, 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 Ifoma. Yeah. Then there's this, um, then the length of names. Sometimes we have like really, really long names. Like, you know, Alibaba is Atu Yoto. <laughs> but like, really, they, they, there's this but one that I saw. Something. No, they mean something. It's not like the name is bad. It's just that the name is really, really <laughs> no. long. It now. So we will not have to be looking for how to fill it into the passport, you know, because you don't have enough boxes to take the length of so the name. So, you know, there's this thing that used to be funny then when you're filling jam forms and everything. Yes. You know, they give you a specified number of boxes. Yes. Then it now came to Nigerian yeah. names. Yeah. No, we have to wrap up on this. I want, to, letters. I, want, I want us to touch one more time before we run off. But mm -hmm. um, I think I have Yinka. Good morning, Yinka. Are you there? Hello. Hello, Yinka. Hi, Inka, are you there? Abeni, uh, You're live, Inka. Go ahead, please. Yes, my full name is uh, Abenika Francis <laughs> Thomas. Francis is a mm -hmm. kind of a uh, Christian name oh, yeah. because I was born into a Catholic home. Okay. Catholic Inka home, Francis. my baptism name is being given as Francis, that Francis is Saint Francis. Francis of the City mm -hmm. as a Catholic person. But my Nigerian name, my local name is Adeyunta, meaning God crown surrounded me. Can you hear me, please? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Hello? Very yes. clearly. Crown surrounded me. But in many ways, those three names, and the son name is Thomas, C-H-O-M-A-S, a Dadnika name. But a lot of people believe it's a slave name in Lagos. And both in Nigeria, when I was in secondary school, People believe I'm from the East, that I'm an Igbo man. And I lost a lot of faith because 
I went to Government College in Badal. Three times I collected the trophy for the March Park in October 4th in the Children's Day. And they gave me a letter to NDA say, because I was the cadet commander. But the man in charge of the cadet is my two police and from the east. Mm -hmm. And he took the letter to a Yoruba man, thinking that he preferred to give that opportunity to a Yoruba man. And when I'm in Obodo, you go to, they believe I lied for saying I'm Francis Thomas, as opposed to be bearing a Yoruba typical name, mm. local name. These are the ways that everything works against me. Mm. But Oh, thank you very much for sharing Sorry that story. That. Yeah. All right, so, I mean, we're, I, I want us to wrap up on this because we have very little time here. But I think generally we're saying that names are great, but what's more important is the how you the reinforcement it. you give the child, how the software you pad up that child with mm. alongside the name. name. Go give a child blessing. Mm. When you are only through raining curses on the child, the I mean, the, the, the child will never be a blessing unto others. I think, I think that's the crux of this conversation. But... um. No, the story that somebody sent me, somebody, somebody sent me something saying that um, she's, he's married to his wife and the, the wife ex is insisting that they have one account. You know, says that they must put them on. And I want us to address it before <coughs> we go because it's a very short topic, but I want us to... He's saying that according to him, uh, we're a team and we must act like one. The wife said we must, must act like one, but he's wondering why she wants access joint to his account, the joint account. Okay. So, I mean, it's a topic we might have to address another day but this person was really worried about it. I like you guys. I hear your thoughts on it. It's just, should we have a joint account with our spouses? Because two have become one. Mm. Should money also join the oneness? Hmm. Very hey, the ladies are silent. <laughs> no, no, we're no, no, no. Uh -uh. Come okay, on, take so, it. See, Maya, please um, start. there's a video I put of my children after we watched Smart Money Woman. And my children left watching that thing and saying, never, they, they, what they took away is never have a joint account with your spouse. But that was because of the peculiarity right. of that story. I personally, I don't believe in like a joint account of everything. I believe you should have your personal account and then have a joint account that you both contribute towards. Not that everything at once. I feel that everybody should be able to have access to some kind of funds and do for things themselves. for themselves independent of that joint account. That joint account should be things that you have decided and agreed to do together as a couple. Mm -hmm. But is this the man that's complaining about the joint account or is the, woman, the woman that's complaining about the, the joint man. account? The woman the wants woman, it. The woman wants a joint account. Ah. Is the woman earning any money? Yeah, is she doing thing. anything or is she just hoping, put the joint account so I can monitor so what, you're, how much you're making and what yeah. you're making? Yeah. Maybe that's why it's uncomfortable. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, I think um, we all need to have a conversation. Money conversation is very important at the beginning of your. A relationship or your marriage. You must talk about how you want to share things, how you want to do things, especially when it comes to finances. Uh, also, you need to work with what's best for you. So I've seen people who tried the joint account thing and it didn't work for them. One person is a spendthrift, the other person is prudent. Before you realize it, money is, ah, madam, what did you do? What did you do with this money? What did you do with that one? And it just cost frack. Okay, everybody, keep your money to yourself. Let's pull resources together to achieve different projects. So you need to watch your peculiarity. Joint accounting has worked for me, okay? Because from the get-go, we plan that we're going to pull all the resources together, then plan with what we have. Mm. And so far, nobody has regretted it. Mm. But I wouldn't categorically say this is the template. So it because you're different. Yeah. I have an auntie who the husband consistently dupes her. <laughs> like dupes her. She was, uh, she's the only one working, and she's trying to put money together so that they can build their own house. And then he insisted, I must, I'm the man of the house, I must be in charge. He would Project take money, money instead of him to buy the blocks and buy the cement. He will use it on women, and nothing is happening in the site. So with that kind of person, would I say continue? Yeah, so yeah. just work with what you have. Fantastic. So the okay. ideal circumstances is to have, like, a joint account. That, that would be ideal, because I feel like if I'm sharing my life with you, I'm sharing my body with you, I'm, I'm having children with you, then it is now these uh, money issues that we can't find a way to resolve. But I realize that that money issue that we're thinking is very, very hmm. simple. It's actually it's not, not very okay. simple. Um, statistically, it's the highest cost or, um, um, cost. reason behind um, divorces. cost of divorces worldwide. There's is money issues, and of course, that us that room. You know, so <laughs> I discussed this thing on Monday or the Niger, uh, Women Matter on Niger, at Niger FM, and it was the question was asked as well, and my professional advice. Uh, me wearing finance, financial coach cap, um, cap <laughs> is that the best way to strengthen each partner is for each partner to 
have a conversation regarding, you, first thing, you must know what your bills are in the house mm -hmm. and know your cost of everyday expense and decide based on what you both earn how to meet the financial needs of the family. So when you meet financial needs, the next stage is what are we investing into as a family? Then you keep for yourself. Because when we say everything goes to joint account, who is the administrator of the joint account? Do we have to agree on every expense that we do as a family? Mm -hmm. I might want to buy ice cream and you might want to buy beer. And I say, I, my ice cream is more important than beer. And my mm -hmm. ice cream is more expensive than beer. And you say your ice cream, one bottle of, your ice cream is equal, equivalent of one crate of beer. So the, those kind of things will come up. So the conversation should be around communal activities of the family and communal goals of the family and how to fund them. Mm -hmm. And that is the goal. Not that I want to monitor how much you are spending. or So once the needs are met, most of the time when we talk about financial recklessness is because there was no defined expense. So maybe the man has spent money that you're not wondering, but we have not paid school fees. Did you not discuss it? Oh, where is our money for rent coming from? There was no... Set aside. Mm -hmm. So we must have a commission around money generally to ensure we meet all the financial obligations that the family would have as well as going forward. But when you now study, like BC said, each person's peculiarity. Yeah. Like, okay, what's, what do you, yes, mm -hmm. what do you like, what you don't mm -hmm. like? I, I would advise a big couple to give it a try mm -hmm. so that you know what works for yeah, you. Yeah, I, I think so because I, I think I've said it in the early days of my own marriage, I think we did that. You know, mm -hmm. we had the joint because obviously. We wanted, there, was, there weren't a lot of resources at the mm. time, so we tried to put everything in one basket. Let's even monitor what's coming in. Mm. But gradually, as we grew and growth happened, of course, not everybody now started having their own accounts, but we still monitor each other and we know mm. what's... So what, whatever works for trust. you, mm, adopt and that. integrity, trust issues. Yes. Know your partner, know mm. who you're dealing with. Everybody's <coughs> partner is differently. We have, some of us are arranging marriage the way we are arranged. We are, we are arranged. <laughs> yes, the love is there, we have children, but... Do you, I do me, mm. and we are still and we are happy. okay. We are okay. Yes, it works mm. out. Yeah, different marriages. So yeah. also, I think we need to... Un um, so as a family, when you decide to work as a team, you are playing for one team. You're not working against each other. It's important that you identify the person who has the financial strength, not in terms of making money, but in terms of planning management. and management. So if it's the man that has that financial strength to plan and manage, let him make most of the financial decisions. Trust him enough to do that. If it's the woman that has that brain for management, trust him. Do not feel because uh, he's the head of the house, uh, he's the man, he should make the decisions when he has no clue. All he knows is how to spend, when whether the man, he's the one making it or not. When the man so doesn't then, accept that yeah. I don't have any clue. To him, he has clue. No, I, exactly. I, I started by saying if you agree that you are working as a team, you should mm. pick what is best for you. This is yeah, always like that. Saying that if you agree. Situation, I understand, mm. I get you. And that's an ideal situation yeah. where you're hoping that both partners are I working as a team. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes when it comes to finances, yeah. Some people that's, feel, don't tell that's me That's why I gave example of ice cream and beer. I should know beer. how to spend it. Yes. You know? I make it, I should understand what we need to put it towards. Mm. And you know, the, you know what is funny about it is they may be um, in sync in so many other things, but when it comes to that finances, that's mm. where they lock heads. So would you now say, oh, um, we'll not work this out? So in situations like that, that's why I, I would say again, have personal accounts and then have joint accounts with projects in mind in or mind. bills in mind. That, okay, mm. this is what we're doing towards. So make sure this is the amount of money or percentage of your individual income that you put to, in that joint account towards whatever project that you have. There are homes that personal accounts is seen as a betrayal. Yeah, yeah yes. no, that's another no, we've been yeah, So through you have that, that conversation. Yeah, that we've been through. Uh, uh, so you have a personal, personal account. account. How dare you? About. And me, uh, my, my account, my balance, everything, everything is open is, to yeah. you. Mm. And it seems like one person has betrayed another. So in that case, what do you do? It's about the conversation. No, you know, as, it have it, as it works, <laughs> which is we are pulling everything together. together. But for me, um, sometimes we think we know but we really do not know. So we think in our mind's eye, we are, we are the, we're very strong. We, we have seen the vision of this family. We are taking it there. Mm. But it's okay, even as, especially for men, to listen to their women when it comes to finances, to have this conversation and pay attention to what that person is saying. Yeah. So the woman is saying, this is the best way I think we can do mm. this. Yes. You know I'm the one that knows how to save. I'm the one that knows how to yes. be like, can, can, can you please? Can you trust me? As I said, you are in the ideal situation, but there are lots of men who are dealing with ego issues yeah. in their mind, mm. it is totally unheard of for you to be advising me. When mm. did you start making money? Was it not me that paid your scoopies? When did you start? <laughs> when did you start? Yeah. Do you see how your life turns out? Advising me on look. money. So there are some men that they're already up there. They feel like yeah. you know what? Well, you don't know better. But mm. you as a woman, because you have that um, instinct, and you know that we well, need to invest this mm. money to spending, and so, he's doing the other things. So the yeah, advice, so the advice, the advice I gave someone on the video show was that. Um, 
if you know that they no, we're not building assets as a family, create assets from source. So I said, if you're working in a company, you just say, my salary is, let's just use, pick, pick a figure of 500,000 Naira. Mm -hmm. However, our cooperative is contributing towards this house. So what I would be able to remit into our joint account would be 350, mm. because I would pay 50,000 Naira tight, my tight, and then I would do 100,000 Naira towards the house. But the house would be in our name. If he says so you no, are building... No, we've already uh, the company has already said that we are as like force. Yes, that we don't so have it. Like they said no, no, it's, it's wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> and this money was like it's wisdom because <laughs> that way you would build assets. There are some mm. marriages that if you don't if you don't apply that wisdom, you as a family, my twenty mom, years down the line, there is no assets. Is my it mom, wisdom my mom, or my telling mom, a lie? My mom was me wisdom. Every woman, a lot of women, I'm not sure about you guys, but most of us got that advice that oh, yeah, 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 so yes, you. I got the don't, advice. Yeah, don't show everything yeah. to your husband. Don't, mm. He will tell you that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If I have a Nigerian mom, Nigerian mom, Nigerian mom, Nigerian mom, Nigerian mom, you keep some food. They will tell you how to go to office. I got that advice and it backfired on me. Backfired to my face. My mom, my mom was in a situation whereby she was making a lot of money at some point. It was my father's brother, no, my, my, dad, my mother, my dad's sister's husband. I called and said, ah, auntie, auntie, you're making money. This money, please, let me help you invest in a house. Mm. Because she was actually making loads of money, but she didn't know what she was doing with My, it. Do you know how common traveling. that story is? So that, so that, 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 that man was going to start buying, buying um, bought her land with her money, started the construction, building. building. She was shocked when she got the eh? Is this, this, this you know, She couldn't believe it. So sometimes... It's also advisable. So you if you have a husband, because my, my father at the time, at that period, he was, uh, you know. So, yeah. so at that moment, <laughs> as a woman, what should you do? Yeah, that's, that's so you, you, you because you don't, because I don't want to. I don't be. I, don't, I won't say you should um, lie, hide completely, or then you now discover five years into the marriage that oh, I've already built a house. I mean, I feel like that. That's that means that you spent a lot of time creating layers upon layers. So oh, I, I, it will let you know that I am. We are saving towards this thing. We are buying this one. We are buying that one. I know a friend that. The husband took their savings to buy a car. They already had two cars in their house and took money to buy a car. And they were saving the money for rent. Like, yeah. you don't understand. Why would you do that? Yeah. So, there were two things where... Yeah, exactly. So, it, that's why I said that. And that's I expect. Mm, mm, that, help us. That kind of person. They have used your money for car. They've used your money for car. You have entered one chance. So, you will leave that one. You will not start saving. So, you can't, you can't make any... You can't because you, we can't... We don't... We, 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 sometimes we, we can't, put the car up for sale. We, we put... No, you cannot... No, you no, that's that. that. that's yes. that yes. you have the power. That's confrontation. That's confrontation. So, it's a case of... If you don't have you, power, so you, you the reality is, let's have a conversation. Okay. We have rent to pay. We have school fees to pay. As I said, we don't, most families don't have the idea of what they spend on a daily basis. It's one of the things that shock people whenever I coach. I'm like, write down all your monthly expenses. They realize they are in deficit mm. on a monthly basis. Mm. And you realize that what you're quarreling is because you actually are not making enough money to cover your bills. It's either you increase or you cut your expenses. When you are married to such a person, you, the uh, financial decisions that are compulsory, school fees, house rent, um, investments mm. are out of each other's pockets. So there are companies that don't give you access to the funds that you put your money there. So you, there are apps that save towards rent app. It means you are only getting that money at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. Save for school fees app. Yeah. There are apps that you go yeah. say this is school uh, fees. Yes. So you do targeted savings right. as a family and say, you drop 50K there, I drop 100K based yeah. on what we have. Okay. So what activity yeah. goes good? We have those conversations. And then, all and then, and then, there, do? And then some of the bank apps we also have, have guys. a statement where they can tell you the percentage of your monies. Like where you put, you put more towards health, more towards rent, yeah. and things like yeah. that. So yeah. I'm it's sorry that health. this thing gave me a bit of late, but we would do a full show on it because obviously it seems like we all have different experiences on yes. how we can yeah. deal with it. But on the first topic, names are important, but I said it's about what, how show you back up that name mm -hmm. with, uh, with activity, not just give somebody a name and hope that the person will be a blessing. And secondly, on this one, we're saying that do what works for you. Have a conversation about it and ensure that and all of you are on the same place. And if you have a spouse, that doesn't listen. We know there are plenty of Nigerian men that don't listen. It's God. Wisdom guide you. Who? Wisdom. Just God has God. Father have mercy. <laughs> help, me. help me with this man that I married. Because I don't know what else you're going to do. I don't, want you woman to, that I, married. I don't want you to rebel. Because I don't want you to have a confrontation. You know, humility. There's a lot of things yeah. you need to have. So there's plenty, plenty of things you have to put in that soup. Conversation is not always bad, though. That's conversation. Why you can't have this conversation. Uh, well, help me with the woman I am married. Sometimes it's yeah. the woman that is spending all the money. Uh, mm. most yeah, of no. Confrontation is not a bad thing. Sometimes mm. when you need to confront them, right? Confront Marry your friends, Isia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so we've left this thing half baked. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, we'll come back yeah. to it. <laughs> have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.